AA, see you in church. Hi, I'm Manuel. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a little message. Let me know some topic you'd like me to talk about. And put the hand up. I do it right away because I have the tendency to forget. <laughs> and I won't go back and do it later. Anyway, I'm putting this um, video because I think I've already done it somewhat, but they're notice, finally noticing it in reality. But, and there's a big but, the reason these two brought it up was because they're Canadian. And they're afraid we'll close our borders and they won't get any more food. <laughs> and my big problem has always been them taking all our jobs. And that's my point. You got Howie Mandel taking all the comedian positions. You have a whole bunch of other ones, those two young men. You have the Canadians taking the music and they're even coming over here and getting on our shows to take positions. We have a show called America's Got Talent and we have people all the way from Japan coming over to be on America's Got Talent. That doesn't make sense to me. Not, not that they're coming over here. I understand that. What I don't understand is why they let him be on the show because he's not from America. So how is he America's Got Talent? I'm not saying because he's Japanese. It's because he's from Japan. Okay? This is America, not Japan's Got Talent. The same thing with RuPaul's Drag Race. It's an American show, but we got everybody from Cuba down over from all over doing this show, even from Cameroon, and that's Africa. And I don't watch that too much anymore either because I just got tired. You drag these people that are horrific and give them a crown. <laughs> and it doesn't make any sense to me. I, um, the only reason the girl from Cameroon was because, got it because, because the one that RuPaul wanted was just a horrible person. She selfish, didn't care about anybody. She was, she got drama in her head and was acting like she was already the queen mother. And I was like, oh my gosh. And she had to let her, let it go. The next season, she did the same thing. And no one thought she should have gotten the spot. But RuPaul did because she kicked her down that road. Everybody else was better, but nope, she kicked her down that road. And she does it on and on and on. I seen it in um, her All Stars. That ugly, ugly person, um, Alaska got it. I'm like, excuse me. Her look doesn't change. Her girlfriend, who's also a guy, his look changed constantly, but not hers. But that's besides the point. That's all that other shit. What I wanted to talk about was what they were talking about. They were talking about our government and they were trying to point out stuff. And I, just before seeing that, to be honest, I spoke to my brother about it and he was trying to put on the side just the same thing they tried to say about that jackass that we have as a president. A good face on it. Well, the other... I said, if they all jumped off a cliff, we would be lucky. <laughs> I said, but would you follow? I said, they're a bunch of idiots. One, they're going to ruin the economy. Two, 
all these places are closing, so people are losing their jobs. Three, they won't be able to pay their bills. Is Are we going to be able to afford? I know I'm not. I don't have a job yet. I'm still looking. Four, you're going to end up with more homeless. This jackass here in Arizona has already closed a lot of homeless places for them to stay at. So he's going to create more homeless. We're going to have cars parked all the way the side from where we live with homeless people living in their cars. Also, they not letting anyone play any sports. If you don't want people to come to the games, close that, but let the kids play the sports and let the people that are going to come from the colleges see how they're playing their sport so that they can get scholarships to go to college. Ta-da! Stupid asses. They're going to bring the economy even lower because none of the colleges here are going to get anybody with money coming to there. Because for one, they can't afford to go to school. Two, they're not getting the scholarships to go to school. Three, it's just useless because the jobs are all closed down because nobody's working. So you're not going to be able to feed them. What is this dude going to do? Open a giant soup kitchen? Because he's going to have to do it by closing all the schools because the parents have to stay home. They can't work. Hint, hint, hint. It's just stupid. I'm just a pile of stupidity from these people. And then they were afraid that we were going to close our borders. We weren't going to be shipping food to them. We weren't going to be... We should be closing our borders to start. Why? Because we got to keep our jobs for our people. We need to get Americans actors to be acting in the movies instead of giving all our parts to England. England do movies. England does TV shows. They only hire English people. Here in America, we're hiring everybody and their sister to play Americans, and the people that are Americans don't get jobs. They're still looking for parts. Why? Because we're giving them all to anybody other than an American. We're doing that with all of the positions where the kids go to school and everything. And the only parts that our president's saving for us to do toilets and to clean sidewalks, to clean buildings, all of those, and I'm not saying any longer um, fruits and vegetables and blah, 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 blah. You know why? Because they're losing their, their farms. We're not going to have one farm left in America because this jackass isn't trying to help them out. We need to keep our American farms working, feeding our people. Keeping our people healthy. We have everything coming from other countries and we're dependent on them. We should not be dependent on them. The only thing we can know is that the cosmetics, if women want cosmetics, we still have Jeffree Star, we have um, Tati, all of these other American companies making here. Now, a uh, whole bunch of them are coming from Japan. The whole bunch of them are coming from China, um, from Italy, that all of them are infested with that virus. So are you getting virus-filled makeup? I don't know. But the reality is we got to protect America. We got to protect our Americans here. And even Arizonans, because that governor closed those schools without a blink of an eye just to follow all those assholes. Well, guess what? 
We are never followed before and we got to get rid of that jackass and not follow him again because we need to protect our American economics. We need the money here so that we can afford. And by getting all these things to close down, who's going to pay for the rent? Who's going to pay for the water? And that's what that guy was saying in that little video on that one too. That lady didn't care about her people from her town where she was supposed to be helping. No, she didn't. She, all she cared was to have her connections while well, she forgot about all those things she promised. Well, guess what? Now that those people will probably be in the streets, who's going to do that? Well, if they end up dying, guess what? She wouldn't have gotten their votes anyway. They're dead. But if they don't, See, you want them to be healthy and everything, but if you are in the streets because you can't afford your electricity, you can't afford to live in your home, you can't afford, you are got to be out there doing something to try to get some money to live. But she doesn't think that because she's getting a bunch of money in her pocket. All these companies are paying her on the side. We got to stop this. We got to vote. We got to get all these young people to get off their asses and vote and get rid of all the junk that's out there because there's too much junk out there saying, oh, vote for me. I closed all the businesses. So now all the people, those towns are closing their doors because they can't afford to live in their town anymore. Which he could have been instead said, I had them create the perfect filter to filter out the problem and those people would still have jobs still have a place to stay or our government helps out our farm worker farms that have been in their family for hundreds of years we're not helping any of well we would like to help them but they're not helping about anybody but themselves fill their pockets up with money. What do you think? Let me know. Put a, you know, subscribe to my channel, leave a little message, put the hand up, say hi, and let me know something you'd like to talk about. But remember, AA, see you in church.